Welcome to Josephine's Book Corner, where today we are going to discuss print covers. So I'm redoing some of my covers, and I just wanted to give you a show of what I've done. Actually, let's escape out of there, and we will show you uh, some of our old covers here. So we have these lovely covers. Can we just hide you? Thank you. We hid. We had these lovely covers um, that we had before. And while they were nice um, and they served their purpose at the time, I just decided that I really wanted to update some covers that it was time to have some new covers on. Because, I mean, as cute as they are and as nice as they are, that's a really cute little thing. As nice as they were, it was just time to have new ones. Get them feel more modern, more contemporary. And like I said, the, the cover artist did an amazing job on them. But I just felt it was time to update. So... Every cover that you see here on the right side, if you ignore the left, is exactly what the ebooks are going to look like. Um, I have four of them uploaded now already, which is great because I'm uploading them with my revisions, which means I have to upload my new print covers as well and do my paperback revisions. I have to do the formatting for those, so that's going to take some time, but it needs to be done. Um, and this is a ring for Christmas. So this is book one, I put on a new cover with it. We have the spine. We have a nice little blurb about me and Bean. And we got a picture of me and Bean. And then I put a blurb for the book. And I put these little hearts in the background. Because I feel like it just adds something. Especially since this is a plain white background. I wanted to originally like take some of this background and extend it over. So it would look like brick. And it would be really cool in the background. But. I don't have Photoshop skills. I don't play with that program. So that was not happening because you would just have these little squares of bricks and it would just look awful because you'd see all these little square seams. And I was just like, I'm not doing it. So that's why I put in the hearts and I just left it white. And hopefully it will look okay. And considering the rest of the series is the same, it kind of looks like it's supposed to, like it fits. Um, so this picture, I am like, 80% liking. I wish it was more. I didn't realize she had a nose ring. <laughs> That's going to bother me because this character would never have a nose ring. But hey, whatever. Uh, we used colors. So you'll notice the other one was kind of a darker brown or maybe even black. And this one is blue to match his shirt. And we've got a different picture here because I thought if each book has a different picture, it'd be really fun for my fans to have and collect. Um, so I'm trying to get the uh, print font color to kind of match something, either some colors in the photo itself or to match the author title and subtitle. And then over here we have words unspoken and I had to update my fabulous blurb as well. We got her by the ocean. Very fun. I had to update my blurbs. I need, still need to do that on Amazon and finish that. Uh, it's just another to do thing. Basically in the program I'm using, you can just copy your template and redo stuff. So once you've figured out where your template is, then it's a copy paste game. But to set it up in the first place, that was really annoying. <laughs> Again, I'm about 70% loving this photo. I love the fact that the beach is in behind them. The couple fits the couple in the, in the story itself. You know, it's nice. Is it what I want it to be? Meh. I might change it out still. This cover I love. Like, I'm in love with this cover. It's just beautiful. It's romantic. It makes you think of all the gooey things. It's fabulous. I just love it. Um, the only thing is, it does disappear a little bit in it, the, the contrast. But it's hard to find a color that contrasts appropriately without standing out and going, Bleh. 
So I did go with the white after all, but um, otherwise it's a beautiful, beautiful picture and I just love it. This one is a good picture as well. I think it conveys the fact that this is going to be a bit different than a regular romance because there is a lot more action in this one. There's a lot, you know, love and lies. We're learning things about the Ramsleys here. It's all their lovely little deep, dark secrets that they've been hiding. Um, and we get back to Bethany, who uh, was introduced in the first book as a secondary character. So, and he was introduced as like a way background character in book three. So this is a lot more fun. Um, and again, I don't know if this is looking yellow to you, but it's supposed to look white and it, it will be a white background. But it shows that there's a little bit more action, suspense. It's a bit of a different, different uh, book. I think it sh shows the suspense a little bit more. It's not quite as lovey-dovey as the other ones, but they do fall in love and it's it's a good thing. Then we have Stranded with the Billionaire. They're not wearing their winter gear, I know. But you can only do with what you have. And I really do love this photo, so I was very happy to have it. And again, for this one, I actually did take and change the template a little bit. Because otherwise, my name would be right over their faces. And it just looked awful. So this is the only one where I have switched where my author name and my title go. But it was necessary for the picture itself, which I wanted to keep in half. And I think it's awesome. And then we have Unlikely Hero. And those who are fans will know that this is the same couple who was in their uh, previous photo. And I just liked it so much. I wish I could have reused that one, but it didn't quite fit. So we had to go with this one. Um... I shouldn't say it didn't quite fit it um the one that i have i couldn't find a duplicate of it so i only had it with the writing over top of it so i couldn't really change it so if we go over here i'll show you it do, 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 do. Uh, josephine Beinkema. search myself enough you think you would be able to find me um oh see we've still got this one up which is funny it's working on redoing it. This one I like too, but I did redo it because I feel that the other one has a lot more comedy. So yes, you see this one right here was Unlikely Hero. I do love that cover. I just would have liked to have updated it slightly a little bit differently, but that's okay. I could not update it because... I had gotten it from a cover designer and I did not get the picture itself by itself. I just, I got it with the font on it and I can't change the font. So that was not a happening thing. Um, let me just put that away. So it's the same couple. They're lovely. I like it. I love the fog in behind the, you know, the umbrella. It just creates the scene and it's beautiful. I did try, <laughs> this is how bad I am at putting stuff on photos, I did try to put, throw some tattoos on his neck because that's what he has in the book, but uh, did not work out, looked awful, and I just laughed at it and went, that's never going to happen. So if somebody's more talented than me, <laughs> maybe we can make that happen, but uh, not through me. This one has a bit more comedy and a bit more action, so I feel that really shows that in the photo. And again, the couple matches the story within. And we got cute little Bean right over there. So that is book eight of the Ramsley Brothers series, In Pursuit of a Billionaire. And then this one's a little bit more solemn. And we have the appropriate length dress that we had in the book itself, which was awesome. So Brett and Gabe are here. The only thing is, is that they have a lot of guys with beards right now because it's in, like it's the popular thing. And don't get me wrong, that's the popular thing. But my guys, a lot of them in the stories are pretty much shaved. So that doesn't match. <laughs> but you have to do what you have to do some days and just call it and say, close enough. It is what it is. Not everything's going to be perfect. But better is great and like i said i do love this photo i actually originally thought of this photo before i created the other one and i created that one um for convincing him 
And I still didn't like it just because it's just not quite right. But this one is a better photo. And I thought about it at the time. And I'm glad it was still available and I grabbed it. And then we have the wedding, which is coming up. And I have to put my blurb in. And I might keep this photo or I might switch it out. It's a cute little photo of my bean. And the wedding, which I'm hoping will be here in July. It's June already. I know. It's June like 10th today. Ugh does not give me much time at all to get it done but we'll see hopefully i can have it done in july and uh it'll be one of those christmas in july things it was just funny because i started off with a christmas book a ring for christmas and the wedding is happening at christmas but uh yeah so that's what i spent two hours of my morning doing <laughs> it was these lovely covers and i hope you enjoyed it looking at them and kind of seeing how I set them up and how we did stuff and move things around. Um, so you can see here, you can like move stuff and that's how I moved this one, uh, control Z. So that's how you get it to go sideways. And once I figure out the print sizes on these, then we can make those happen and I'll, I'll adjust according to what Amazon wants for the print sizes. But this is close. And let me see, what was the size we started off with? So I always start off with a 12 and a half by 9 inches and then go from there. So this is how I've been doing those. And you got to leave enough room kind of at the bottom. This one might be close, but you got to leave enough room so that they can add their ISBN code. And when you go to, ooh, that one might not be, when you go to Cover Creator on um, Amazon, when you're uploading stuff and working with it, you'll be able to see and adjust from there. But that's another video for another day. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed looking at uh, my new cover release. And we'll, if you had some value from it and you think, Maybe you could set up your own covers similarly or differently. Yeah. See, this one would have been so nice because it just would go over like that. Doesn't that look so much more professional? This is the back of the book, the spine and that. But unfortunately, I can't do that with the rest of my photos. It just does not work. I know. I know. I'm so sad. So I did it so that it would match the rest in the series. And that was important to me. Anyhow, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed looking at the new covers and uh, the fabulous um, print covers, I guess we'll call them. And if you got some value from this video, hit the subscribe, like it, share it, you know, put a comment in. Tell me what I could do better, or what I could do worse. And what I could what you enjoyed out of it what you liked which cover is your favorite Ooh, vote on what cover is your favorite i think this one's gonna get a lot of votes um but this one's really good too i think a lot of them are great i just yeah they're great they're great they're coming vote on your favorite cover vote on your favorite uh bean photo tell me which one you love the best and anyhow we'll talk to you later hope you have a good one